Before we install VirtualBox, let's do some prerequisite. Right-click on the Windows icon and select Run and type MS. Info 32 in the search bar and check the amount of RAM available on your host machine. To run VirtualBox and Kali Linux efficiently and perform various tasks simultaneously, having 4 GB or more RAM is always recommended. Remember, this is the amount of RAM will be taken away from your host machine only while VirtualBox is in use. Now right-click on the taskbar, select Task Manager, and then select Performance and confirm virtualization is enabled. If not, you will need to enable virtualization in the BIOS settings. Download the latest version of VirtualBox from virtualbox.org. The latest version is 7.0.12 at the time of this video. Save the installer on your desktop. Next, download Kali Linux. The 64-bit 2023.4 is the latest version at the time of this video. Download the installer with complete offline installation with customization and save the file on your desktop. Next, open the VirtualBox file on your desktop and follow the installation setup wizard. VirtualBox installation is now completed. You can click on Tools, then Activities. Here you can see the RAM usage from your host machine. Now, let's set up Kali Linux Virtual Machine in VirtualBox. Click New. For name, enter Kali underscore Linux 2024. For ISO image, from the drop down, select Other and point to the desktop folder to locate the Kali Linux image file. For type, select Linux. For version, select Debian 11, 64-bit. Next, click on Hardware. For base memory, choose about 8 GB RAM. The minimum RAM requirement for Kali Linux is about 2 GB. 8 GB will give you better performance. For processors, use about 4 CPU. Try to stay within the green zone. Next, click on Hard Drive and set the hard drive size between 30 to 50 GB, then select VHD, Virtual Hard Disk from the drop-down, click Finish. Here's the summary details of your Kali Linux virtual machine. Now click on Settings, select the Advanced tab and select Bidirectional from the shared clipboard drop-down. Bidirectional is considered copy-paste and drag and drop in VirtualBox. Next, click Display on the side menu, and for video memory, select the maximum, which is 128 megabits. Graphics controller, select VMS, VGA, and enable 3D acceleration, which allow VirtualBox to use the host video card. Next, click Storage and under Controller, select Kali Linux 2023, and under Optical Drive, click on the small blue disk and click on Choose Disk File. Now select Kali Linux 2023 from the folder and click Open. You can go to powerISO.com and download the viewer if there are issues opening the file. Select Network, NT is the default, but you can select Bridge Adapter to connect to a remote computer. Now, click the green arrow to start Kali Linux Virtual Machine. Next, click on Graphic Install, then press Enter and select your language, press Continue, and set your keyboard location.
you can keep Kali as the host name or intername of choice. Click Continue. You can leave the domain blank. Click Continue again. Now create a user account and password. Remember, these credentials will be your root user and password when logging in. Select Guided, use Entire Disk, click Continue, select Partition Disk, click Continue. The drive will now partitioned. Click Continue again. Click Continue, select Yes and click Continue again. The base system and the software will now install. Now select X, F, C, D. It is faster than KD and GNOME. It has a low CPU usage. Therefore, it offers the best performance if you intend to run numerous applications simultaneously. Click Continue. For the Grub Boot Loader, select Yes and Continue. Then select the Virtual Box Hard Disk and Continue. The installation will now finish up. Next click on continue to reboot the virtual machine. Now enter the username and password you created during the setup. Click view on top of the menu bar and click on full screen mode. Click on the blue Kali Linux icon on the top left of View, Settings and Applications. Now let's install VirtualBox Guest Edition. Installing Guest Edition gives a better user experience with VirtualBox VMs, example, proper mouse and screen integration, as well as folder sharing. Open a terminal session and run the sudo update command to install the latest updates. Remember, all commands are case sensitive. The command will install, updates, and managing software packages on Linux systems, particularly Debian and Ubuntu. It makes it easy to keep your system up to date with the latest package releases. Type yes. The installation may take a few minutes.
Reboot the virtual machine when the upgrade is completed. Type sudo reboot now. Log in with your username and password. Now open a terminal session and type the following commands to install the Linux kernel headers. Kernel headers files define structures and constants that are needed for building most standard programs. Remember, commands are case sensitive. The installation may take a few minutes. Now click Devices from the top menu and click on Guest Edition CD image. As you can see the image is now placed on the desktop. Now, double-click the VBox disk image on the desktop, press Ctrl-A to select all the files. Then right-click, select Copy. Then open the Documents folder, right-click, Paste. All the files are now copied. Next, type the following commands to install VBox Linux editions. Remember, all commands are case-sensitive. The CD command in Linux stands for change directory. It is used to change the current directory of the terminal. LS is a Linux shell command that lists directory contents of files and directories. The CH mod, short for change mode, is used to manage file system access permissions. The sudo command allows you to run programs with security privileges. It prompts you for your personal password and confirms your request to execute a command. Type yes. The installation may take a few minutes. Type sudo reboot now to reboot the VM.
Open a terminal session and type the following command to view the version ID. By installing guest editions on Linux virtual machines, users can unlock features like full screen mode, better display integration, shared folders, and improved mouse integration as well. Finally, let's check the RAM usage. Click Tools, then select Activities. Here you can see the CPU and RAM usage from the host machine. Now shut down Kali Linux. As you can see, the RAM and CPU usage will be reduced. The minimum RAM requirement for Kali Linux is 2 GB, and the recommended is 4 GB. However, having more RAM, like 16 GB, can be beneficial if you run multiple virtual machines or heavy applications simultaneously. Hope these instructions were helpful. Have a good day.